Hey everybody, it's your mean boys. Yeah, yeah, all, all three means. All three of us. All three means. Uh, so some some important announcements. Yeah, don't skip the intro. If you usually skip the intro. Yeah, I know we say that every intro, but this one is actually important. Yeah. Uh, so guess what? The tour's canceled. Oh no, we're sorry. Yeah, yeah. man. Here, here's I'm what bummed. happened, you guys. Uh, we we started planning that November tour. We were excited to come out down south and come see you guys. Uh, then we got picked up for a, uh, a writing job me and Connor did for a Netflix thing that's coming out. And it just became a thing of there was no way for us to get the tour properly planned, get out there and do this job. Yeah. We would rather postpone probably until January-ish. Yeah, January, February. Somewhere in that yeah. range. And be able to do the tour properly, be able to like promote it. We want to put on good shows for you guys. Yeah. And it, uh, it unfortunately, we hate doing this. Yeah, like, no. It, we, I, 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 there was, I would much rather be out there partying with you guys, but it was sort of a situation where we didn't know what was going on for a while and we had to, and now that we do, it's like there's no time. Yeah, there was a lot of discussion on the best, what the best move was. Yeah, we really waited until the last minute to do it because if there was any we way wanted we could make to the go, tour, we wanted yeah. to go. So, yeah. But uh, so for those of you who've been tweeting at us asking what's going on with We're dates, sorry. We're so, yeah, that's yeah. why, and that's why we haven't responded because we didn't want to. You know, we didn't want to preemptively do anything, and you so, guys uh, couldn't if, announce what was going on. Exactly. Yeah, if you uh, if you bought a ticket, uh, I've uh, I've sent you an email uh, about a refund and uh, just about the best uh, channel, whether you use uh, Square Cash or PayPal or Venmo or whatever. Uh, so everyone uh, that bought a ticket will get your money back, and I am very very sorry. Uh, yeah, and we above all that, are. but we'll be back out there soon, uh, bigger and better after we get done uh, writing this damn TV show. Uh, but it's all, it's not all, no, the skies are not all gray in we the world some, of live cool news. Mean Boys events. Uh, we're doing a, do, doing a fun little, little get together in LA, uh, a little something we're calling Halloween. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh, Guess spooky. what? Halloween themed. <laughs> happening near Halloween in date terms. Yeah. Can and we do a Hall- Halloween too, but on Thanksgiving? No. No, yeah. No, that's <laughs> not, yeah. Halloween is happening on October 20. Halloween 1. Halloween 1. Not Halloween, Halloween 2. Only. Halloween classic. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, October 28th at Echoes on Pico. Echoes on Pico, Hall- or Los Angeles, California, 9.30 p.m. Uh, $5 tickets, $10 at the door. Uh, the link for that is in the show notes. That's actually happening. We, yeah. Uh, we can't a- cancel a show that's seven miles from our house. And yeah, I'm that sure 100% to- happening, and we're going to try and book a, uh, a pretty, pretty festive we're, ass yeah, lineup. For yeah, you it's going to be. Yeah, great. well, it's in LA, we, so we, we, you know, we yeah. have a couple relevant friends. Not, not as cool yeah. as Halloween Three, which will be on Christmas. <laughs> <And though. here's laughs> the thing is, we, we rarely do LA shows. Uh, we're really excited about this one. We want to make Halloween an annual tradition. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so come out if you're in LA. Uh, if you're in OC, come up. Hell, if you're in San Diego or Fresno, come hang. Long come Beach, hang out. We'll make it worth Empire. it. Yeah, make a We're trip. gonna we'll try to get someone to give people tattoos yeah, and shit we'll, like that. We'll, we'll and... go to Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles across the street afterwards and be huge pains in the ass. I'm gonna see how much <laughs> it costs to book my dad's Kiss tribute bands. Uh, oh, we'll, bro. Yeah, we'll figure <laughs> it out. So Halloween will be fun. Halloween is definitely taking place. Yeah. Halloween. I know it's a, I know it's a sorry <laughs> consolation prize for the tour, but the tour will happen soon. Yeah, we're not even canceling it. We're postponing it. We're it's, rescheduling it. And I've talked to all because, the because we had of, locked in. They're all like, yeah, hit us up when you come out and we'll get you set up. Yeah, because of dehydration. That's the reason you cancel a tour when you're a celebrity. Yeah, it's exhaustion. Exhaustion. Not, I've yeah. been snorting oxys with my butt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> butt snorting. Do, do, you know, five, do you have any New idea Year's how Day. difficult that is to do? Yeah, yeah, Snort yeah. something with your butt? Can farting I least, in reverse? Can I at least get an attaboy for reverse farting drugs? Farting in reverse sounds like a weird owl ass emo band. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, I just trapped a bunch of coke, dude. Halloween <laughs> Six Wrong. Martin Luther King Day. I boofed oh. it. We get it. <laughs> yeah, I foobed. I foobed. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, All right. Look so, for holidays. hey guys. Speaking of exciting things on the horizon. Oh my goodness! Only a scant twenty-three iTunes reviews away from Keith's Mama Palooza. Uh, yeah, Keith just coming. winced. Yeah, dude. Keith, here's, here's Part the day. of that is because I'm dying of stomach de- death right now. Yeah, here's, here's the day Keith and I had. Nobody liked all the shit we wrote, and then Keith got very sick. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so. I, I, I got just poisoned stomach, so I was just like laying in Carter's car, just moaning while he just got me Pepto Bismol. Yeah, and I was like, "Do you want me to go get you some medicine and cigarettes?" And he was like, "Uh huh." <laughs> very sweet. I was like, "Man, Carter's the best boyfriend ever." <laughs> and I was like, "You want me to rub your hair while you moan softly?" And he's like, "Yes." Yeah. So and I was like, "Who's a good boy?" Scratch, I'm scratch, a good scratch. Boy. I'm a so, good sad boy. Yeah, 23 more iTunes reviews, and we will go interview Keith's motherfucking mother. Uh, this person <laughs> writes... <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, motherfucking mother. I didn't realize that. Yeah, oh, this no, guy but I, the, the, the phrase review his mother is pretty funny. Oh, too. What, I, dude, I'm fucking tired, man. <laughs> I, yeah, had to, you, you I had to actually w- work today, which I've, I, I, I've built a life on not working. So now I'm like, oh, I finally got a job. I'm like, oh, that's right. I don't, I'm bad at this. I have no discipline. Uh, so this guy writes, Keith's mom, five stars. Love the podcast. So close to Keith's mom. Just how Tom likes it. Also, come to Memphis, <laughs> Memphis if getting shot isn't a factor in where you generally tour. You know we've been to Hamtramck. How dare you? <laughs> Hamtramck. So, yeah, go fucking, go fucking drop a review. It's right there. I mean, it's not like it's 200 away anymore. We're, it's, it's, we're it's so close. Striking distance. We, we've got to get shit done. And speaking of uh, goofy-ass goals we're trying to hit, jump on the Patreon if you haven't already. Patreon.com slash Meme Boys, because we are very, very close to reaching our $2,000 a month goal, which means Snark Week 2. Which means we're going to have to come directly off of a writing job, directly into seven podcasts in seven days with seven bonus episodes. So basically 14 podcasts in seven days. Yeah, yeah. For, from, for, uh, for which we will be playing a new game of Meanopoly, which we just got in the mail from listener uh, at iRoll20s. Yeah, and it's it, is, fucking, it has been mailed here from Australia. Yeah, I haven't had time to pro- explore it all the way, but he's built a full fucking game. Yeah, I looked it's, at the first prototype of it, and it's... Uh, if you're a Mean Boys fan, there are so many wacky details to this that you're going really, to... Oh, yeah. There's stuff I forgot about The craftsmanship, the, the amount of work you put in this is fucking amazing. It was a very, very thoughtful gift. I'm super stoked to play. We're going to get a, We're going to get an all-star crew of uh, Monopoly players on we're, this yeah, shit. Yeah, we're going to bring in the best and brightest. And yeah. the Monopoly game was great last Snark Week. It'll be great this week, or this time. Uh, and we will do it while smoking in Opie's room. Oh, 100 <laughs> yeah. $5 a month gets you uh, access to bonus episodes every week. Another, another hour, hour which mean. For Snark Week, we'll be doing doing an extra bonus episode each day, That's too. Yeah, so seven extra hours. Seven extra. Oh, boy. Do you want to be on the Patreon I mean, for here's, Snark Week? There's another thing I'm going to say. They're not all going to be an hour, all right? <laughs> Snark, week. Snark Week ones, you get 30 minutes max. Yeah, that's... Or, Minus and the, the Meanopoly, which will be like three hours Which will be long. a yeah. whole Ken Burns documentary. <laughs> that also sucks. Uh, fucking $10 gets you a piece of merch every month. This month, we're doing iron-on patches. So oh, we did, those are last month. Never mind. What we don't we know what we're doing this month. Oh, but, never yeah, mind. Yeah. All is lost. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, no, I didn't mean that. I wasn't trying no, no, to no, see you. I appreciate you telling. Yeah, yeah. Me. No, uh, no, I, I totally we forgot don't, that it's a different month. Look, shit's hectic around here. Uh, we haven't figured it. Puked at the same time. <laughs> yeah, we yeah I heard it. It sounded hilarious. It yeah, I, I vomit louder than any human. In the it world. was insane. Yeah, yeah. It was a gentle puke, but it just comes out. Of- <laughs> Well, yeah, it's just like someone let out a fireplace bellows full of monsters. You, you, you know? puked the way, if, like, fish could scream, that's what it would sound like. It was fucking horrifying. <laughs> if fish could scream, sounds like like a, like a haunting poem that you wrote. Yeah, uh, fucking Maya Angelou first draft. <laughs> yeah, so uh, that's what's going on. Uh, follow us on uh, Twitter and Instagram. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click a few and buttons, help out your boys, and uh, get involved in the uh, in the community over on the Mean Boys subreddit, our Mean Boys, and, of course, on our Discord. Discord channel moderated by Alexis yeah. Filth. You can uh, fucking play games. You could show each other your wieners. You yeah. can, <laughs> you know, there's all there's all there's many different sub chat rooms. Yeah. And uh, shout out to while. Alexis Filth, by the way, for writing uh, the suicide hotline phone number on her dick. Oh, that was uh, that was fucking awesome. That rules. If anybody else wants to write the suicide hotline number on their dick, please do because it'll never stop being fun to me. I uh, will retweet you. It, yeah, it's pretty. Uh, great. As will I. Yeah, yeah. I, I I love it. So yeah, uh, so Alexis wins a uh, uh, mean mean of the d- pig of the week. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tom, Look at last pig child. Way, way to introduce a new segment to the show. A, pig. without a good name, and B, without consulting either of us. Pig, pig of the week pig is of the week. Pig of the week is Keith for the 600th week in a row. Tight. Wow. Awesome. What a great fun time to be me. What a streak. Wow. Boy, are you sick and fat. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I want to die. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, other than that, uh, all you got to do now, I think, is uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy this week's Just the Boys uh, fucking extravaganza right here in your ears, coming at you now. Later. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to the Mean Boys Podcast. If you feel doomed, you're just buying into the machine's plan to stop you from changing anything. I'm Connor McSpadden. I'm Tom Goss. And I'm a Supreme Food Court Justice. <laughs> hey. Wow. <laughs> what a, wow, great. <laughs> All right. Well, fuck. I'm sorry it wasn't as good as everyone else's nothing, but... <laughs> yeah, no, no, yeah, wow. 
I mean, there's no worse feeling than Connor's like dad who doesn't yeah. want to look at a kid who drew a picture. I just like, oh, you're gonna put that on the fridge, are you? And this is a fire truck. Yeah, is that what you're? That's a fire. You mean to tell me that's a joke? Okay, hmm. Con- Connor's kid is gonna be such a successful artist. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Are you gonna be? Oh no! I'll, I'll prop up my kids' failures. I mean, I'm not. You didn't come out of my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing comes out of your dick. As a matter, matter of fact, you <laughs> Zoloft addled non climaxer. Oh, stuff comes out of it. It's just it's like just what fucking blood. <laughs> no, I just you gotta you gotta work for it. You know, <laughs> it's like digging for shitty gold. It's like it, like <laughs> making me come is like filling a barrel of maple syrup just by woodpeckering trees with your fist. Like yeah, some like kind some, of weird, s- somehow it's better because like it was thirty six chambers of Wu Tang kind of training <laughs> exercise. You know, <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, and I do jizz. Well, here's the thing, because I don't come that much because it's just such a process. Whenever I actually have to fucking crank loads out of myself that when i do come there's always a lot of it and i'm always like ow you know <laughs> that's the best when you do the one that's too big it feels like your dick is getting bigger as it slides down the tube oh well, yeah no the, the maintenance load where you just the first one like that didn't even feel fun that was just like yeah it was pure ow. volume you yeah know? yeah it's like when you pour the iced coffee out into the trash so you can put your cream in <laughs> why don't you just drink the iced coffee that's what i do but i see people pour it in the trash Sometimes and i was felt- i always get mad at them well i don't want to just take like a hot like a hard belt of like black iced coffee i'm just like, no, what's well, yeah, that's black what ice coffee. Oh, yeah, we, you don't want to be a man, is what you're telling me. No, you don't I be... don't. I want to be a, a, a swishy little twink who gets his coffee how he likes. All right. I, anybody he... could say. <laughs> yeah, anybody... <laughs> I've never heard anyone call you swishy or twink. I know. I was the, 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 the reaching for adjectives, dude. Yeah. We've all had a week. <laughs> dude, you and words, man. Yeah, Good day. I'm, I'm just, just going to let Keith spin his wheels here, hoping that I start talking so he can have time to think of something to interrupt me with. I'm like the nail that <laughs> I'm enjoying this dynamic wheel. where I'm just like, oh, you guys come to me. Connor talks too much on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how well, funny the podcast well, yeah, is when I, Connor does well, it. Well, yeah, I, 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 I love screaming you, you, about you, something he doesn't understand. Yeah, you wait to make this political statement until you know we both have 3% battery in our fucking brains. <laughs> yeah. Like, well, yeah. I go, you both slept three hours in the past 48. <laughs> fucking <laughs> be the best. If you guys had read Machiavelli's Laws of Power like I have, then you would know this is the perfect time to strike, and Ma- I played my cards expertly <laughs> That's like a Christmas the master dude, duelist right? that I am. Yeah. I actually do have a lot of things to talk about. I went and spent the, uh, spent the weekend with my family, which is nice. I saw some of the, the high school bros. We played some uh, some old format Yu-Gi-Oh! You know? <laughs> we just said 2011 September band list. Fucking bring in what you got. And, yeah, yeah uh, fucking go old school. I had an, uh, uh, just a blast sitting on a, a, in a hot card table. That's, that's, where all these, that's where all the best times of your life are at, or, or around a, 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 just a hot room in the world's dirtiest card table. Yeah, yeah, it's like I'm in the shittiest place having the best time of my life. Where it's like, did we use this table for like some kind of industrial nougat like rolling operation we were, <laughs> where we were like shaping it and cutting it? It's just covered in this like f- movie theater floor film of just... Like calcified loser paste. Yeah, you know and, what I mean. You guys are just, just flaking off your general autism onto yeah, the table. Yeah, well, it's like, well, the Sour Patch Kids dust has coagulated to the Little Caesars grease, and then uh, <laughs> of course all, of the, all of my history homework on top of that got wet. And yeah, it's it's now, like a map of snack Mordor. Like, yeah, you yeah. Just now, see who was eating what. It's just got a weird silly putty surface where it just absorbs, you know, whatever, whatever uh, it touches it. So yeah, that was fun. I, saw, I finally saw my dad's Kiss tribute band. Yeah, how is that? I got they fucking rocked. They were fantastic. Yeah. You said. A video. I was hosting a show when you sent it. So yeah, I was so bummed they couldn't go, it. man. They uh, they rip pretty hard. Yeah, no, it's great. It's a dad. thing I always want to mock because it's inherently funny and no makeup kiss tribute, band, but they're also really fucking good. Yeah, yeah, no, the singer puts on a great show. It's funny. I was talking to him afterwards, and he's like a little like five, like five. Wait, six. what did you call him? What? What did you say his name was? The lead singer. Mike. Oh, I think you called him Stanker for some reason. I'm like, I really oh, yeah, Stanker Mike. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I the name of a guy that was singing for a No Makeup Kiss tribute. Band. 100%. Yeah. yeah. Hey, guys, bad news. Stanker Mike uh, has, uh, has has to do his public, uh, his community service, so he's going to miss this gig. But uh, <laughs> Yeah, I gotta, I'm not going to make it tonight, fellas. I got a Stanker sore. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, so we, we're, we're, having a, uh, we're having Acra Jones fill in. <laughs> Their farewell album is called Stanks for the Memories. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah, they were fucking awesome. Awesome. Yeah, there's just this little five six Mexican dude with a like a like a beard and like a bro like a like a kiss bro hat, right? Wearing a tank top, you know, who just who looks like he's a he's a gardener. He looks like a gardener, right? And he's like 
he sounds exactly like Paul Stanley. <laughs> he, yeah, he, it's like, fucking nuts. To like and like even down to like the in between like the song banter. Yeah, he does, he, it's not like he's like, all right, everybody, thanks for he's still doing like, all right, he's still yeah, doing. Paul, I'm this guy. He's still doing Paul Stanley in between, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was fucking great. He uh, he got confused and shot the. My dad made a love gun confetti cannon, and he shot it. <laughs> off. <laughs> well, here's the oh, best part is he, is he got confused and shot it off during the wrong song. So <laughs> during the climax of Love Gun, he just kind of had to dance because yeah. he didn't have his confetti. Remember gun. when I did that thing earlier? That was crazy. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, yeah, Mike, it was the strutter gun tonight. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't bring strutter song the right song. Uh, no, yeah. I, I don't remember which one they did it, but it was not. It definitely wasn't Love Gun. Oh, that's so funny. Because I remember watching Love Gun going like, Where, where's the Love Gun? And someone goes, oh, yeah, he blew that earlier because I went outside with my mom for a second. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, my dad's uh, did smoking guitar. Which is pretty cool, you know. That is pretty rad. Rip that up, and then uh, like yeah, a the bass fog player. machine. On the bass the player's got a little rocket that shoots out of his bass for the end of uh, Firehouse. So it's so fun. weird to have all the other like accoutrement and fabulousness, but just none of the not fucking the makeup. makeup. Well, Mike doesn't want to shave his beard. All right, it's pretty. We'll just do it around it. Just then, just have. That would look pretty hilarious. It would look funny. Just, you just make everywhere. a Swedish death metal guy, kind of, but yeah, you can make yeah. that work. Nah, I mean they're just. They're, they're, I I think uh, uh, no makeup kiss. You know, you, and he, they, my dad I was talking to him about. It. He's like, for the first three or four songs, people are always kind of like, okay, and then by by song five or six, everyone's fucking feeling. And the the crowd was going off. There was like a sixty year old fat guy who was pogoing <laughs> for like a good thirty seconds. <laughs> Damn, I was that's like, big. I, I was like watching him pogo, and I'm like, all right, he's about he's running out of gas pretty quick. Here and then he just kept. I'm like, man, this those orth- orthopedic shoe technology must yeah. have come a long way because I, this guy has been bopping the deuce for like you know half the song. I, I say this as somebody who's been in this situation so many times. There's nothing funnier than watching the fat guy in the pit who like his passion is not matched by the ability of his body. Like, he just <laughs> wants to rock out. Yeah. He's got half. A, he's you see over him, committed to it. He's pacing know? himself. He's like, right, I'm going to go in like right at the chorus of like the one song I really like, and then go hang around the edge of the circle and yeah, just be yeah. kind of into it. No, oh, I mean, Bob, what's left of my neck? Well, it's That'll exactly, be it's my exactly deal. like that Pat Oswalt bit about Axl Rose doing "Welcome to the Jungle." Oh, it's so fucking fat. funny. Like, Welcome to the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like yeah. that's pretty much what it was. Yeah, but dude. Yeah. So the guys in the, the other guys in the uh, band, Mike is awesome, great front man, dancey, he's shimmy the entire time. You know, and yeah. I'm like, again, I get winded. Tell- I was talking to him after. I was like, dude, I get winded telling pussy jokes. I don't know what you're doing yeah. up there, but he's fucking kids, just belting these songs out and like shimmy and doing Mike stands shit and fucking getting the crowd into it yeah great front man uh the the other lead guitar player alan is a guy my dad's known since he was like a kid like oh, yeah. he's known this guy for like 40 years and he uh he's got long hair he looks like lucky from king of the hill if life had gone <laughs> worse for him so, oh god he, he's got like he lucky. slipped in the piss and didn't get the check exactly <laughs> yeah lucky if he didn't get the check and uh he has a fan that blows on his long hair when he guitar solos so that he can look more That's, rock and roll. <laughs> this is, he has two hair fans th- pointed at him. This whole thing is so <laughs> profoundly lame that it circles around to being the raddest thing I've ever oh, heard. Oh, it's fucking great. Yeah, yeah well, it's I, just like... They're, 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 at no point do they pretend that they are not fifty-year-old guys doing a kiss. Right, they're very self-aware of how they ridiculous are, they the are. They are the doing best is. possible fifty-year-old guy kiss no makeup tribute band. The last like, thing you want, yeah, yeah, you don't want a humorless no makeup kiss tribute band. Well, look, and here's what you get when you go see uh, room service: is you realize, like, oh, kiss is actually pretty great. They kiss are great. Is, kiss rocks pretty fucking hard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, I have a question. Okay. Sure. The fat man brought a pogo stick to the show. No, no pogoing, pogoing is like jumping is up and down. Jumping like. up and down. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you thought that this was... This whole time, you <laughs> thought you thought we were For casually like speaking minutes, of a fat man a on a pogo stick. You thought the world's goofiest pedophile had come to the <laughs> Shamrock Bar <laughs> in Chino Hills. Yeah, hey, I, kids. I mean, yeah. You thought the cat in the hat had gained weight <laughs> and gotten into 80s fucking butt rock. I've never been into that kind of music. I was like, maybe it's a... Th- I mean, you think the, the people are yeah, bringing everyone pogo knows, sticks Everyone knows jokes. eyeliner, leather jackets. You okay, know, yeah. Long yeah, hair, you know, pogo and sticks. All the cool guy shit. Fire, smoke, a pogo stick. Yeah. <laughs> you, they, have a, they have a guitar that generates smog. Why is it out of the question? Man, you remember in 78 when fucking... It generates smog. Yeah, when, my dad puts crude <laughs> oil in the fake pickup and he it. Ever. You remember in 78 when Ace Freely put on sock and boppers and <laughs> yeah. Gene Simmons during fucking Dr. Love? 
Uh, that would be pretty cool, though. That would rip. Yeah, probably happened during a few royalty discussions <laughs> with sock and boppers. Yeah, yeah. What are so sock and boppers? You don't it's know what fun anything than, more fun is. Than a pillow. You don't know what sock and boppers are. <laughs> no, they're the big inflatable things you put on your hands. So, like, how it, bad was your child? Had you by the time sock and boppers came out, had you already become untethered from reality? Like, yeah, really? I, I think he was feral was around ninety five for a long period. No, they were like you didn't have television. No, not. they oh, were like, inflatable <laughs> boxing gloves, but they were giant. So the whole concept is you put them on your hands and then just fucking wail on each other because like you couldn't get hurt oh yeah, yeah we had them growing up they're awesome it was really yeah it was punch you in the face the board game yeah, like, it was poor, a real weird product my poor mother had to deal with it but i mean the, the joy of just getting you know clobbering your cousins with sock and boppers yeah just, just fuck it i remember a, bu- a buddy of mine uh he had sock and boppers but he only had one set of like he only had two and so, like, if we wanted to fight, we would just put one on each of our hands and have the other hand behind the back, so it looked like we were fencing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. A gentleman's duel. If you want to be a real dick, you just reach over and slap him in the dick. We did that at, uh, on my, one of our neighbors had a trampoline, so we got those Hulk hands. Oh, know? yeah, I remember those. And I was, like, I was at, like, Toys R Us. We were shopping for, like, a gift for my little cousin. I was probably, like, 14. I was with my dad. Yeah. You know, and, like, he was, like, we saw Hulk hands were, like, on clearance, and I was, like... Hey, Dad. All right, what what do I got to do around the house here if I can just get like three sets of whole cans? Yeah. You know, I mean, like we just, I mean, they're five bucks. I mean, I mean, that's not a lot of money. I don't have any. I'm a kid, but I, I mean, dude, I totally, I, I, I would I, really like we we fucking fought each other until the little handles inside came off. It was I, a shit. I forgot about this story until you. Brought, I forgot about whole cans as a fucking cultural concept. Oh, whole cans <laughs> ruled. Whole cans were such a cool thing for such a very specific window of time. But I remember one time we were walking through a Target, and I have uh, two little brothers. One's uh, one was six at the time. One was like maybe like nine. And the nine-year-old would just beat the six-year-old uh, Scottish who's been on the show before up constantly. And we're at the Target, and I see Topper, the other brother, just put on a whole can, just look at Scottish, and just hit him so hard, he went through a rack of toys. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was like some Jackie Chan level oh, shit. Like, well, I became the Hulk. I picked up the power. Yeah. Like, yeah. And nobody cried. Nobody reacted. My mom just goes, fucking t- t- okay, and then just went back and to spider monkeying go, her way through stealing shit from a Target. Yeah, and then they go, awesome! <laughs> yeah, ex- yeah, everyone was just like, that was so cool, we can't even be well, mad. Well, yeah, no, you jump up in the air, and then my neighbor Armand would uppercut dick punch you until you flew <laughs> off the trampoline into a pile of wood chips. <laughs> and because you're 13 and your bones aren't done growing, you just bounce back. You're like, wow, I feel fine. Let's do it again. Did you, you ever know? have Hulk hands, Tom? Dude, I only know what Hulk hands are because of Rick and Morty. Uh, I did not know they were a toy. Oh, yeah. Wait, Wait what? The- you didn't even get learn from the Hulk? You thought that he just... No, <laughs> I didn't have... It. You thought yeah. that the Hulk... What if the Hulk had Hulk hands? That would be funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, incredible right. Hulk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I didn't know it was an actual... Urgh, Hulk struggle to wipe! <laughs> <laughs> I know That's why an... he's angry. I mean, yeah. yeah, Hulk ass bleed. <laughs> if Bruce Banner lost his hand... You know, would the Hulk grow the Hulk, it back? Would the Hulk grow the hand back? Oh Did shit! God make a wall so high he himself could not jump <laughs> over. I think you get the hand back. Because the whole thing is he's regenerative. Regenerative. Yeah, but regenerative. Is, but only, but <laughs> regenerative. <laughs> regenerative. We're not moving forward until you say he's, this word correctly. He regenerates. Yeah. There you go. Regenerative. Yeah. I wasn't a cool properties. kid. Dude. I was Jar Jar <laughs> Binks cool. for no, Halloween. No <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> you and Tom, you heard Jar Jar Binks? Yeah. Somehow man. still in blackface. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jar Head Binks. Yeah, I was I was Jar Jar Binks. Binks. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what was the Jar Jar Binks? Co- like, was it like uh, with a mask and everything, or did you like it was, make it? It, it was, was an Amos and Andy costume, but with a burlap <laughs> robe. It was the mask. Okay. And then I really I, from the movie The Mask. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody could tell. What yeah, I wrote for. Jar Jar on it. It was a giant Jar Jar Binks like head that I put on, and then I didn't really have any of the other clothes, so I just wore street clothes. Like, I wore street clothes. <laughs> <laughs> you, you were this casual Jar Jar. Here, here's Jar Jar if he was into hockey. Yeah. For like three years in a row. I, I yeah. Three years in a row. <laughs> you were shitty Jar Jar Binks. Man, that wasn't even cool the one year it would have been kind of <laughs> no, cool. And no. it really wasn't cool two years later. No. You mean, well, that guy for so long it looped around to another shitty Star Wars movie. Well, my mom's argument was like, you already have a costume. Her, her Jar Jar argument. Yeah, her <laughs> Jar Jar argument. Yeah, yeah. I'm picturing you in that costume right now, and it just looks like you're on your way to like the retard purge. Like, you're just it was, like well, yeah. the, there's no rules. I'm getting the applesauce. Even then, some people like didn't know what I was because it was just I didn't have the hands. No, yeah, you, you, my I costume have... is guy that was really late to the bank robbery. <laughs> ah, damn it, Nixon and Reagan are taken. Even oh. fucking fa- P- I, I could I would have been Peter Griffin. Fine, I'm Jar Jar. Like I remember being real bummed because a bunch of Jar Jar. Like, 
Banks. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies who gave me candy were like, oh, that's an interesting alien costume. Like, some people didn't even realize I was Jar Yeah, Jar what a bunch Banks. of dumb old sluts who didn't know who Jar Jar Banks was. Yeah, but... Yeah, yeah. So I didn't know what Hulk hands were. It's uh, I like now you, well, you know what you got to do is just add Hulk hands to the <laughs> Jar Jar. I just want you to have a whole outfit made of shitty promotional <laughs> items from oh, failed yeah, yeah. like film. What is that? He's holding the complete Inspector Gadget McDonald's toy set. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody was able to complete the entire Inspector Gadget out of the McDonald's toy. Somehow you get During a fucking, promotional window. Yeah, you get a Ryan Reynolds Green Lantern ring on the Hulk hands. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. You you have a you have a Staples that was easy button on your chest. Like Iron Man, <laughs> you know that would be fun. Just like, just like Shill Man, just like with the yeah. biggest fat of every year. You know? Wearing yeah, the yeah. Infinity Gauntlet as an athletic cup. Yeah, well, that yeah, movie yeah. did real well. Yeah, and then you, you know, you weren't, you know, fucking Yeezys and parachute pants and. Just <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Nostalgia Man. Man. Remember all these things? Well, I'm getting you a Jar Jar mask. Oh, uh, dude, I wanted to be Bane for Halloween. If you did Halloween. that at like a like a at pop and, like party now, you'd be the you'd be a hit. Everyone would be like, "Oh my god, have you fucked Irony? Uh, 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 you know, Discount Man?" Like, yeah, exactly. That actually would play very well. Yeah, I want to be Bane because of that jacket he wears. Is Wait, you want to be cool. what? You want to be Bane because you already dress like him? <laughs> and you just need to make a tinfoil mask. Well, no, I was just like, oh, I could get, I could be, I, I'd have a Halloween costume, and I get a new cool jacket. Cause Tom, it's a, I'm gonna tell you this right now: you should not be looking at super villains and being like, ah, oh, there's my wardrobe. It's gold. a cool jacket. <laughs> no, it's, it, I mean, it it's is a cool your, jacket if you're taking over Gotham yeah, City, if not if you're going to fill up your water jug. For 30 yeah, you know cents. when it's not a cool jacket when underneath it is just like a a stained Doom Tunes T-shirt <laughs> and a pair of New Balances. Like that really undercuts the the Bane swag. I and here, here's the part where Tom disputes your goofy <laughs> yeah. shoe claim. Well, yeah, no, what, mostly what you wear is purple Reeboks that looks like they I have been run over by a tractor well, every They were day, my dad's day, before they, they were, were, were mine. They were my dad's before yes, they were Yes, your family I... air bloom, the world's ugliest <laughs> pair of running shoes. <laughs> my father didn't get pussy in these shoes. I didn't get pussy in these and shoes. And one day I will give them to my grandfather. I don't know how heirlooms work. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, 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 quick, he's going to die. Give him the shoes. <laughs> the goal of the shoes is to not have to pass them on because they make you incredibly undesirable. <laughs> I just use those to run. Now I wear the Chucks. Or I the, know. I, I know. Yeah. Or the, we, know you, uh, we know you've upgraded your shoe game, but these ones aren't fun to make fun of. Or the yeah. basketball shoes that uh, uh, your jacket. It's almost yeah, like man. we focus on each other's flaws for the sake of the podcast. Yeah, I'm sorry. Entertainment. Like we're some sort of mean boys. Yeah. Sorry, I'm not cool enough to wear, I don't know, pink pants. These you're are not, good pink you're pants. You're not cool enough to wear pink pants, Tom. I, and I hate for, I hate that you have to find out like this yeah. <laughs> in front of America. I think Tom could pull off pink pants. Uh, Tom I, could pull off a lot of things. I think I'd look confusing to people. Tom, you already look pretty goddamn good. <laughs> You're wearing, Honestly. again, a George W. Bush shirt <laughs> that is one of three shirts you own. Yeah. Well, yeah, honestly, Tom... It's not a pro-Bush shirt you, for the You listeners. would look less confusing. It's very pro-Bush. Tom loves George Bush. You would Yale. look less confusing if you had that George R. Binks mask on. <laughs> because then they'd be like, all right, well, this is at least oh, the body sure. type of someone. Yeah, they'd be like, oh, he's he dressed as... George R. Binks mask and September. Yeah, if you were wearing that shirt and that mask, they'd be like, oh, Tom is dressed as 2002 today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that'd be fun. Yeah. Uh, maybe that's how I should make my, my Halloween costumes, just be different years. Yeah, that I'd love to see what that is. Just, you with a Rubik's Cube. Yeah, I'm 1953. I didn't Google it. <laughs> you go as a caveman, you're like, I'm 2031. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah, not going great. <laughs> Does anyone remember how to do agriculture? Yeah, we, we burned all the books for warmth, and we forgot there were some agriculture books in there. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, don't even ask about the Kindles. Uh, we, the, the Kindle igloo was a bad plan. <laughs> the Kindle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So room service was fun. Fucking Yu-Gi-Oh! was fun. Yeah, I'm man. playing Dead Rising. Thank you to the listener who sent me Dead Rising. I can play it on my laptop. So oh, I hell play. yeah, dude. Yeah. It, 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 they fucking... They they change. I I don't like to be the guy that's like that. Just keep making the same thing, but it's just a it's a bad video game, oh, and no. they kept making the same bad video game. Right, and now they made it a different bad video game kind. And I'm like, <laughs> but just it was so it was perfectly bad already. Yeah, give me the stupid shitty thing I already. Is loved. this the game I was watching you play? Yeah, the zombie one. Where it's yeah, where you wouldn't believe mysteries. me when I said to take a photo there, and then you were like, no, nah, I'm like feed well, yeah, the it, zombie it, the tell lettuce. You all you need to know about the mechanical design of the project is that Tom was helping me solve puzzles. <laughs> <laughs> so that, 
that, uh, that, that is how uh, poorly constructed it is. Tom, the fucking portal goss over here. Okay, I put, was put, you, put your portal. shoe in the fountain. Trust me. Which, by the way, now that now that I have this, we could probably do some streaming stuff because I do think Tom gets high and tries to play Portal is a, is a trillion dollar idea. Honestly, me getting high and playing any video. Tom game. gets high and tries to understand Minesweeper. <laughs> yeah, I, dude, I beat all the levels of Minesweeper. Tom, nothing has ever been less impressive. <laughs> or less I mean, all the levels. Wait, what, what? There's one level, the gray one. Yeah. I understand that you mean difficulty level. I was yeah. the coolest kid in my high graduating class of my sister and brother. Good <laughs> 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 Minecraft. Yeah, they used to call me sunglasses, smiley face, guys. Oh, uh, dude, yeah, I, I, I had it the family sweeper. high score for Polar Bowling, the free HP game that came with desktops in 2000. I'm gonna be honest with you, I I didn't understand how Minesweeper worked, like the rules of the game, until I was embarrassingly old, like 24. Yeah, like is when I finally was like, oh, the numbers mean. There's that's how many are touching it. I thought yeah, it was yeah. just a weird See, random clicking. All Minesweeper challenge any of you guys and win. Well, I, like even when I learned how to play, tight it, man. <laughs> like when I learned how Minesweeper worked, I was like, all right, well, I'll try to play this. And then I just got bored, and I was like, I could not care less about fucking. Yeah, I was like, oh, wait a minute, you assholes, this is just math. Yeah, what? Well, I, I yeah, do the logic, the game. Yeah, no, mm, thank you. Bleh. I think I, yeah, I was pretty. I'm pretty great at it. Yeah. Here's what's funny is I feel like if we turned Minesweeper on right now and you played, you would lose every game very quickly. Dude, I'll this fucking is, do it I, right I don't, now. I'm not doubting that you did it well, but this seems like one of those things where you're going to be hilariously inept at it. I will, I, yeah, we're, I mean, we're not going to play Minesweeper little, on the goddamn podcast. There's a little bit of it. No, I'm not. I'm pulling up my jokes. Uh, <laughs> no, I know. I was telling Tom because his uh, eyes dude, lit no, up. No, nothing would make me happier than playing Minesweeper right now. Well, you don't get to because it's time <laughs> for the Mexican joke off. Topical. And yeah. I would look good in a Bane jacket. You would. But, and that's part of the problem. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, we're trying to build a version of you that is not the Bane two, adjacent. Of the two halves you can lean into, I'm trying to steer you more towards the presentable one and not towards the look, libertarian villain <laughs> one. <laughs> I, look, if I could, I'd, it would be a step up from the velour jacket. Okay, you can wear the, the floor. Ba- is what Bane wears. That's Bane's pajamas. You already <laughs> have. <laughs> sleepy it's time nap Bane. time for Bane. I think I've said that exact thing about those fucking. Good night, uh, Moon. <laughs> Look, if you guys can do Bane, the, Good night, the, bad man. the mouth <laughs> Bane, I can do the clothes Bane. That's, uh, that's the rule. <laughs> and then I just walk behind you and, and just talk for you. This yeah. is my picture all the way before oh, I yeah, no, we get, oh, we yeah. just get a We get a baby monitor that you strap to your, where your face goes. <laughs> <laughs> and then just communicate. For Halloween, yeah. I wanted to do this before I looked into how much a. Uh, the, that jacket costs, and I wanted to dress as Bane. Eight dollars, which you decided was unreasonable. Uh, no, it's pretty. The jacket. We need to send cool. Tom trick or treating dressed and, as Bane. And then I wanted <laughs> you funny. two to just have your hands up my shoulders like I was a puppet, and then I would just like fucking. You guys would talk for me the entire night, which I think you merely fun. adopted the fun size three this, musketeers. Yeah, this, this plan is all contingent on us being invited to any Halloween party, which I don't <laughs> think the odds of are great. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, we can just do it around the house. I don't need people. We, yeah, we, yeah. We just, <laughs> You guys want to put on costumes in my room and hang out? You watch you act, King you act like that's not something we totally will do. Yeah, yeah. No, I think when everyone moves out of this house, I want to start a. I want to start a. a, a you know, because I, I was talking to these old comedians that, that did comedy like in the eighties, and they're like, "Yeah, we just played basketball every uh, every Monday or whatever, and we had this basketball game. And people come and go. We had all these comedians talking, all these people they played with, and I was like, that's so fun. And I was like, we got to start some kind of. Just, so I think after everyone moves out, I'm, I'll start like YouTube Sundays where we just come over and watch YouTube for. Four I like hours. that. Yeah, that's my. I, was I like, love that. That's our sport. <laughs> yeah, what are we gonna do? Play basketball? Yeah, we're not doing that. But we would definitely. I'd be like, well, have you guys seen the one where the guy eats dog poop a different time? Huh? <laughs> and we're like, yeah, show us again. Pretty good. I love it. All right, guys, I'll take us away this week. Uh, I put, no, God damn it, laptop, stop. <clears throat> yeah, I'll take it away while you're working on that. A new study claims the United States is the tenth most dangerous country in the world for women. When asked for comment, President Trump said, "This list is an outrage. America first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, boy. Yeah, I wrote these while hosting a show I wasn't doing well on. Uh, A man was fined $1.4 million for for over-harvesting sea cucumbers. (laughs) A young Clint Eastwood flicked his cigarette and said, It's the cucumbers you don't see that will get you, punk. What (laughs) the (laughs) fuck? You guys don't know that quote? No. No, Yeah, no, I don't. (laughs) What the fuck are you even talking about? What are you getting at here, buddy? Show your work. Explain. Uh, It's the... the, uh, 
There's a quote that's like, it's the punches that don't see that'll knock you out. Or it's the, it's fuck- the punches that don't see you that will knock you <laughs> no, out. No, that yeah. you don't see. You know, you'd never fight a guy with eyes on his fists. <laughs> <laughs> that's the number one rule of boxing. Rule number one of boxing, never forget your whole case. Yeah. <laughs> rule number two, don't fight that one character from Our Real Monsters. <laughs> he's got eyes he's in the back of his hands, in kid. his hands. He can see around corners. <laughs> You'll be devastated. <laughs> rule number three. Whites only. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that whatever you're talking about it didn't make sense, but it made a little more sense. Than uh, we thought. It's still what does. movie is it? <laughs> what, does it it is? what does this have to do with sea cum- cucumbers in the least? Sea uh, cucumbers don't see. Yeah, yeah. See. Oh, uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! I want to make a gif of your reaction. <laughs> I feel like I just drank like a cough syrup. I'm just, ugh, like you know, just pang. That shit gets you, you high. You look like you just found out a relative you don't like that much died. Yeah, where you're like, yeah. I'm kind of sad, but this is mostly inconvenient. Like, oh my god! If I don't <laughs> Here's go the good funeral. news: all the jokes are around the same level. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's, dude, I'm like, it's <laughs> me, party time. Connor's gonna gonna have to up his Prozac after this fucking show. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> why did I? Why did I make working with this man a major yeah. cornerstone of my social, uh, this, this joke and up, financial life? This joke up has gone from being a piece of comedy to like that tunnel they send Commissioner Gordon through in the Killing Joke. <laughs> We're just gonna drive you to fucking ruin. I know. Yeah. All right, gang. Uh, a case of rat hepatitis has been found in a Hong Kong man. The 56-year-old said of his diagnosis, "I know I shouldn't have started doing heroin with that rat." <laughs> He got it from rat sharing needles. Yeah. <laughs> That's barely not what he did. Yeah. All my jokes are kind of Tommy. <laughs> See cucumber? Say <Yeah>. cucumber. <laughs> Mel Gibson has been tapped to direct a remake of the Western The Wild Bunch. The Wild Bunch is also what Mel Gibson calls any NBA team. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man. I really fought between NBA team or Obama's kids. <laughs> it sucks. I don't think I don't think Mel Gibson should be making any more movies, but I, I do love Mel Gibson movies. <laughs> yeah, did you see Hacksaw Ridge? I didn't see Hacksaw Ridge. Dude, that movie is like so weird because it's like the first hour of it is just like you know fucking the the shittiest Spider Man being like, well, I'll go to the war, but I don't want to kill nobody, and everyone's like, oh, this is like a story about Christianity, and then it is the most violent, fucked up. <laughs> mo- just let the bodies hit the floor. People are just getting their shit ripped out for two hours straight. Yeah, it's well, Kind of metal. We got, we got to watch Get the Gringo because that's a film where Mel Gibson just, he's like, all right, uh, this is a movie about the world's coolest, most dangerous, deadly man yeah. who gets imprisoned in Mexico. I will be playing the lead role. Uh, and uh, it'll be a movie where I uh, befriend and kill many Mexicans. <laughs> That'll while, rehabilitate my image. While making uh, just fucking, like, like fucking, like, like. Sugar tooth inducing quips the entire time. And it's fucking magnificent, you know? <laughs> I fucking love it. Mm. Uh, <laughs> Tom, Tom opens the fridge of jokes and sees he forgot to buy groceries once again. <laughs> yep. Uh, <laughs> well, it looks like Top Ramen. Uh, Oh, man, I wish. A man accidentally ran himself over and died at a jack-in-the-box drive through when he tried to grab his food and fell out of his car. Jack then appeared and said, I told you my bowls were a lot to handle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There you that go. Did, that did suck. That guy like got out and then like left his car and drive and like backed over himself. Yeah, yeah. and then he, I guess he... I don't know how, cause, but apparently he pinned... His car pinned him against a tree? Which I don't. I, I, yeah, I read that story too, and I went through it like five times. I'm like, but fuck it. Like, what? What, what, what is? Well, no one's in the Jack in the, the, Jack in the Box drive through at night, like sober. So he's, I imagine there's probably some alcohol. I think it was during the day, though, wasn't it? Well, yeah, p- oh, yeah, people can't drink during the day. That's right. It's vampire rules. What are you talking about? Yeah, I mean, he might have been drunk. I don't know. Yeah. Or it might, yeah. it might have just been some Final Destination shit. That's what I figured. It was just a total like free guy. Because that happened to that other fucking guy, uh, Anton Yelchin, the. Dude from Star Trek. Oh yeah, his car like yeah, he like went to get over. his mail and his car like just rolled down a hill and just fucking smashed. Who's him. the actor? Uh, Anton Yelchin. Yeah, oh, Chekhov. I thought that was a Star Trek character. No, 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 he played uh, Chekhov. Chekhov in the new one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Bill Cosby had a hot dog bun thrown at him on his first day in jail. Uh, they attack him at the hands of his cellmate, the guy who thinks that everybody's a pigeon. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's who Bill Cosby's sharing a cell with. <laughs> He's like, I was trying to feed them. And they're like, how many times do we have to tell you? It, no matter how much you think they're a pigeon, you got to stop doing that. It's just like, 
like the hot dog. At least throw the hot dog. Then it's like ah, another wiener ruined your life. Like you well, know I what I mean? He needed the, the hot dog. He's got to get his like fucking prison gains going. From needs commissary. the protein. Yeah, yeah. Wait, was it outside the prison or was it in the prison? Is, uh, in the prison, I don't know exactly. Where, oh, that's yeah. so funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was like when he got in there. Welcome to Oz, bitch. <laughs> Thunk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shocked that they're not throwing jello at him. They I don't get know if jello. you get jello in prison. I, I saw somebody point out, like, I, I, I think you do because the, the people who cater prisons also cater psych wars. Uh, people, okay, I don't think they cater prison. <laughs> you will, no, I mean, the, the I know, people, catering just sounds like it's yeah, a, just a welcome. You've got a chafing dish. Yeah, a bunch of, of aspiring actors in tuxedos, like, bringing it around on trays. Yeah. I, re- I did read something, though, that was funny. It was that, uh, they like found like a list of like his like the meal plan for like inmates at that prison, and the first meal he eats does have fucking pudding. Like, <laughs> oh, like wow. yeah, it's that's the last pudding joke. I feel like we just we don't need to do any more because that's pretty funny. There, there, there'll never be no more pudding jokes. Oh, yeah, I did. Just, <laughs> no. I'm not, not I'm not happy about it, but <laughs> I just I need him to die just so we can finally purge the Cosby jokes and then be done with it. All right. So <clears throat> so Tom had to move his car. Whose turn was it? Uh, it was my turn. All right. Uh, we left Easter. off on Cosby. Let's pick up on a similar note. A woman has accused soccer star Cristiano Ronaldo of rape. Ronaldo defended himself by pointing out that he is a soccer player and therefore gay. Mm. <laughs> Everybody who <laughs> plays soccer is gay. Go ahead, Tom. Do a joke. All right. Here's here's some words. <laughs> Whenever Keith gets uncomfortable, he starts just like doing this weird sing song thing, trying to just sing- make I'm it just okay. Trying to generate any fucking energy. Well, yeah, that's what you did. Now I mock you for your. I know. I know. Should I sing Short song cuts. this joke? Uh, no. <laughs> joke. A man who has been eating hotels continental breakfast called the Breakfast Bandits is on the run from authorities. He was last seen running through Atlanta screaming, Oh no, they're after me, Lucky Charms! So, what do you... <laughs> Holy God. What do you think a song is? Because you said sing songy, and you just kind of said it like someone who was trying out speaking for the first time. Yeah. A guy that was in the news did a bad crime. And There's now notes in for. there. The child got murdered. Do Should da. I do the joke again? More singy? You sure should. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, more so, yeah. The, a man <laughs> who's been eating hotels. <laughs> no, here, You're here. singing notes that have never existed before. Here, like, how the, is he doing a J flat? Here's, <laughs> here's a new segment for the show. Is Tom sings the opening songs to musicals he's never seen. So let's start oh, off. Oh, God, I love this. Yeah. yeah. Cats, go. Uh, meow, 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 meow. All right, meow, uh, meow. Tom, uh, do uh, Sweeney Todd. Ah, uh, I have hands for scissors. I kill a cactus <laughs> that talks. Rawr. His hands are regular, but his, his, scissors, his scissors are shaped like a pair of hands making the rock, paper, scissors, scissors that he has to use. And they're very, they don't really cut very well. A uh, Venus fly traps me only friend. Lay no, is. Okay, Les Mis? Wait, okay, so that you now you're confusing the one where the plane eats people. <laughs> yeah, Edward Scissorhands, which is actually not a musical. <laughs> in no way. <laughs> and in no and, and me, a guy who has never seen Sweeney Todd and only knows the bare minimum about its plot, knows that you have gotten zero details of the, the actual. I, I get how he got the Johnny Depp's in the movie, so I think that's <laughs> yeah, where the wire I nailed it. Across. No, yeah, he's yeah, in yeah. both. Do Les Mis. Yo ho, Mis. yo ho! I'm a bad <laughs> barber. <laughs> uh, I, uh, d- 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 we are so French. <laughs> <laughs> we don't like politics. That's we are the world. But we, we are, are so French. French. Our oh, cheese oh, is stinky. Oh. <laughs> we don't like to take showers or be nice to people. Here's a bucket. <laughs> It That's is like our so whole deal. King has no head. King has no A Nazi head. almost became president <laughs> of our country. Oh, whoops. <laughs> we are so cultured. Nobody in this room could do a French accent. <laughs> no. That, that, <laughs> nor, no, no that, that, <laughs> Who is that? Is that French? French Albert. Fat Albert. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so many croissants. Oh, oh. we, we, we. Talk to my friend who wears a mask. No, it's just Taco Monster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, croissant monster, talk it to taco monster. Me, uh, croissant, croissant, croissant. The croissant. The creature from the croissant. Like ah, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> It's just my throat. 
<laughs> Tom's whole body curled up when he got accordion like, like a roly yeah, poly yeah. bug that felt threatened. <laughs> well, unhook that cable from your leg so you don't re- you don't destroy the recorder with, yeah, your, you with your croissant character <laughs> convulsion. You, 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 you sit in a way recording this where every part of you looks the least comfortable a man can look while My reclining. My shoulder's been hurting. I looked it up, and it's either a strained muscle or lung cancer. It's just weird that you always have the microphone cord just draped across your dick. Like, Tom, why, why are you looking up like symptoms? You know that it's not going to correspond to what's actually <laughs> going fair, on. That's yeah. fair, yeah. Yeah. I mean, if there's a WebMD, but if you're Tom, it's like, <laughs> bad gas. Oh, that means there's a chemical fire next to you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, stomach. All right, guys. China has announced a 40% jump in the number of its citizens living with HIV AIDS. State scientists are reportedly working around the clock to design a functioning octopus condom to help curb the epidemic. <laughs> it's unprotected octopus sex. Squid fucking sons of bitches. The CDC. I don't even think. I think Japan is the one that does that. But I mean, oh man, well, same difference. Guess guess what? I'm racist. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> and I d- couldn't think of anything better. <laughs> the CDC issued a report saying that STD rates in California have reached a record high. We're thrilled to hear the Mean Boys horny summer was a rousing success. <laughs> Spread them AIDS. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Kanye. Kanye West. You guys know uh, Kanye. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you guys know Kanye. Uh, Kanye has announced he will now be going by the name Yee. <laughs> this being out the names Jebediah, Stoltzfus, and Amish dude. First of all, it's yay. Yeah. Boo. <laughs> Tom, <laughs> 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 oh, you're deflating. <laughs> <laughs> Kanye has an... <laughs> what is happening here, you guys? Just... Uh, the SEC <laughs> has charged Tesla and Elon Musk with fraud. Elon said in a statement to the press, we're going to try to push this trial back until I perfect my hologram lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do think he's probably going to do something like it. He was like, uh, just show me where it says I can't have a lawyer that's a hologram. <laughs> hey, you, you, you cannot prove that the hologram is not a person. Yeah. Yeah. This might be with Elon Musk. Probably not. That guy's kind of what he sounds like. I'm, I'm having the ballpark. Yeah. It's just, do general Bond villain and you're 80% of the way there. A Minnesota funeral home was cited for storing applesauce in their embalming room. In related news, Minnesota has received an award for tastiest corpses in America from Cannibalism Digest. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Tom, you got to stop doing eyebrow-based comedy on the podcast. Yeah. I'm, I'm not. I wasn't intentionally well, cannibalism doing Cannibalism Digest is also what you do if you're a cannibal. Yeah, you, know, you, you, digest, you digest people it. meat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What a goofy name for that real magazine. <laughs> I can't like, believe they didn't go with something else. Yeah, you know? like uh, quarterly. Yeah, you know. Uh, yeah, uh, fucking Newsweek, but for the cannibals, the cannibalism reader. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know. <laughs> the New England Journal of Cannibalism. <laughs> there we go. All right, my turn for words. The and NEJC. I- <laughs> really? They want to talk to us? Yeah, I, I, I ate some dude named Maxim. <laughs> oh my god! Well, put it in the freezer. There's no time now. Yeah. An Oxford University student was turned away from her graduation for having her ankle showing. British Dice Clay states, if she doesn't want to be problematic, she should have taped her tits to her shins. Oh! <laughs> um, what? Tom, even for you, this week has been a lot. Uh, what, is, yeah. what, is the, what is the thrust of uh, that, what you're getting at there? I that, don't that, her, that her tits hang by her ankles? Yeah, you know so the, wait, you got, know college students, and they're notoriously saggy breasts. It's, it's, it's in England. I don't know. What, yeah, what everyone knows in England your tits sag. Yeah, tit like, gravity is different in England. <laughs> you think worst case tit sag scenario is like belt line? Not in England. By the time you turn twenty two, <laughs> they'll be sagging out of your like long flowing the bottom English of your pants. skirt, yeah. to, and you, and you can see your nips knocking against your socks. Yeah, old nipple kicker Johnson. Here's the deal. <laughs> yeah. I knew that was going to be brutal, and, and, and I apologize. You have to do like a soccer like juggle. You yeah, know, like that's why they like the soccer end. so much. Yeah, yeah. It helps us keep our tits off the ground. <laughs> <laughs> they, have, they just have to walk around doing this all day so that they don't, thunk, thunk, they don't thunk, get their tits all covered in dirt and grime. <laughs> yeah, whenever I come in this this bad. Oh, God damn it, I got my tits stuck in gum again. I should just have to sing everything. <laughs> no, you sure don't. Okay. You got to you gotta stop even suggesting that. You just you sing at a tone that is like somehow quiet but also piercing. Like 
All right, I can sing or get a Bane. You have a it's devastatingly a Bane bad Joe? singing. That's a Bane banjo. Foggy Mountain breakdown of the economic system. Free to die. Ding dong ding dong ding dong. Gotham, I am your deliverance. Batman, I challenge you to a duel. <laughs> Mountain goats are being airlifted out of a national park because they have developed an insatiable thirst for human pee. And we're like, we're like, Jessa Reed is a mountain goat. <laughs> what up, Jessa? God damn, that's real fun. Yeah, no, I guess they just can't stop drinking piss, so they're like, we got. They, here's what they've been doing: they've been blindfolding them and helicoptering them to another location. So, uh, they, okay. where they're gonna just, where they're just gonna begin going into like cities and urban areas trying to find pee, you know? And God help them if they find the, the outside the window at this house, because then they're gonna be like, oh, I just hit pay dirt. So here's my: this issue. guy's piss tastes like cotton candy. This is a genuine question about this story. Just let them drink the pee? I guess they're like fucking with shit and they're just kind of getting well, rid of Why don't bunches. we just take the pee, like put them somewhere and then take our we pee. Just make a big and give it to the water tower full of piss. Yeah, so what is it like? No, nah, we, the human race, need that pee. That's our pee. Like, we don't want it. Well, I just don't think it's, a, I, don't, I don't know if it's sustainable. Like, what if they just all just love pee? Okay, if you opened a petting zoo where for $10 I could come piss in a goat's eager mouth, I would do it just to say I did it. Mm-hmm. Not very sexual throw, but the goat's having a good time. I'm having a good time. Yeah, this is really doing wonders for your I'm not into bestiality <laughs> campaign. I don't care. I, I'm trying well, to. Well, I mean, the novelty of peeing into a goat's yeah, mouth. Yeah, you wouldn't be... pee in a goat's mouth if the goat was like pissing my mouth. I love that shit. Like, you wouldn't Probably do it? Probably not, because at that point it would have developed sentience and, you know, Yeah, and then it's super it's horny. You peed everywhere Dude, nothing's else. hornier than a sentient being. Like, it's, you fucking, you gotta pee in this goat. Well, yeah, not, well, yeah, not only do it, does it know it's horny, it also knows its, its limitations. And it's that, literally it's, horny. It's a what fucking did the goat. the pee become sexual? There's a lot of. Of unsexual urine. You really you want to get peed on in a pot? Nobody's ever been like, "Yo, homie, can you pee on me?" Like, no bear. Like, like uh, loose animals are never like, "Oh yeah, piss." Like they're, they're <laughs> usually. There's, there's, well, these aren't loose animals. They're yeah. in a, they're in a contained environment. We keep the blindfold on them. They love the anonymity of it. That's part of the thrill. And then uh-huh. you piss in that goat's fucking slut throat. And it turns out <laughs> the goats have all been fucking. Uh, I forgot that it's Sean Penn. Which Keith's is the guy next who did pitch, that weird Porcupine shit where you Glory Holes. And that for that art thing. Oh, Shia LaBeouf. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. There you go. I'm yeah. gonna pee in a goat. I I I just don't. I wouldn't. I don't know. I wouldn't. I I'd feel like, like well, you, you know, know. Fuck me for trying to make some goats happy. I, I mean, they love piss. A helicopter had to get involved because they loved piss so much. <laughs> Think about yeah. how many problems there would have to be in your life for you to be like, well, it's time to call a helicopter. Yeah, I've never loved something so much I had to be, a helicopter had to intervene. Yeah, I had to be <laughs> blindfolded and removed. Like, yeah, yeah. I don't love anything as much as these goats love piss. Why like were they with blindfolded? Like, with like the cookie crisp wolf, you know, like we blindfolded him and dropped him off in the Serengeti because he just couldn't stop murdering children for their cereal. That's just not running even around that. screaming at the desert. Just, God damn it, I want a cookie. Yeah, yeah. Why were they blindfolded? <clears throat> so they couldn't find their way back to Piss Town. Yeah. I guess, <laughs> I, to Pittsburgh, wait, Pennsylvania. Cause I, cause I, guess, I guess they're worried about these goats looking at the window and going like, about three acres to the east. Yeah, 12 to clicks. The north. Yeah. Yeah, like, they're actually, wow. Watch out for the landmarks. There's a waterfall. That's how we know they're, we're halfway there. Animals find their way to like where the thing they like is. Yeah, like, but it's their I, whole deal. They, I, don't, they have like a whole day to devote to like find that pee. Yeah, like, but it would They don't just have be, anything else going on. I, they're not used to aerial views. Let's write a Pixar movie where it's about four goats just trying to find that the beautiful river of pee that had been prophesied. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Hanks in Piss Goat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> guys, we're gonna get that piss. You, know? you got a friend in pee. Yeah, one, one of them. One of them makes, I'm gonna drink the pee. One of them makes like one of those like fucking uh, like beer hats, but he's just impaled two guys on his horns, and their piss and blood is just dripping down into They're his mouth. They're still alive. And he's just like, ah, we're in constant pain. College. <laughs> It's like it, it, it's by a, a treatment plant or something. Why is there so much loose piss? The campers and stuff. I yeah, guess. They, there's piss. Mo- oh, there's those, people, there's those piss. campers are probably on drugs, and that's the gets and to they're the getting addicted high. to the drugs within the pee. Yeah, yeah. I well, think it's just pee. Well, I, I mean, those... most people that camp now are on drugs. You're either old, boring, or point. on drugs. Yeah, yeah that's a know? fair point. Well, then give them give them drug piss. I don't know. Do you want goats on acid? They already eat tin That cans. affects my life 0%. <laughs> Nothing but, about my world gets... If anything, it gets a little better because sometimes I can remember, oh, yeah, goats drink pee to get high, and that'll be yeah. funny to me. 
Keith, Keith's stance on on uh, uh, fucking drugs, none. Keith's stance on pissing in a goat's mouth, super pro. Well, yeah. I don't want to do it for me. I want to do it for the goat. All right. Well, uh, the Mean Boys podcast will be right back, uh, right after something that's not this. <laughs> and now, New Yorkers who don't understand death. Thank you all for gathering here today. We are here, of course, to honor the life of Peter Andrews, a son a student, a kind and caring young man. I remember the first time I met Peter, I... Boo! Do a different song! Uh, excuse me? I said your song sucks. You sing like a Mongolian. Yeah, all one of them other Chinas. No, this isn't a song. We're honoring the life of Peter Andrews. I'm trying to do a eulogy. Ray, you ever hear of a song called Eulogy? Ah, no way. ACDC didn't play no song called Eulogy. Do Back in Black. Highway to Hell, come on. Loud noises. With guitars and drums. And loud. We like loud. Ba-boomity, vroom, vroom, doom. We are mourning a young man's life. Peter Andrews is dead, and you are ruining his funeral. Who the fuck is Peter Andrews. Yeah, sounds like that weird rap from that magic movie where the kid got busted upside the head by that lizard with the stick. Yeah, and then his head hurt whenever he was nearby. Yeah, like his head was a chick who didn't want to get dicked down by your husband. He wants to murder you, kid. What the fuck is wrong with your fucking head? What a shit movie. Terrible movie. Ah, the bad guy didn't even have biceps. How am I supposed to know you mean business unless your arms look like they're covered in tumors? Please, quiet down, both of you. Now, I'm going to bring up the men who were with Peter when he died, and you, too are to show him the utmost respect. You got respect for my butt, Pastor. Good one, you showed that dress-wearing queer. That's enough. Now please show some respect for these two men, Bob and Greg. Oh, shit, Bobby, that's us. No shit, you don't think I don't know that name that was given to me or not? Oh, you have got to be... Hey, I'm Bob. Yeah, and I'm Greg. And And we we enjoy enjoy booze. Hey, what's in that box? Chocolate, dummy. It's a fucking box. It's a casket. The body of Peter Andrews is in there. Oh, shit. Well, you should let him out or something. Yeah, who is he? Harry fucking Houdini? Fuck Houdini. Yeah, he's not from Brooklyn. Not from fucking Brooklyn. Not from Brooklyn in the slightest. Do you not get it? Your friend Peter is dead. Oh, what a cocksucker. Oh, he went to Jersey? Only cocksuckers go to Jersey. Yeah, New Jersey ain't Brooklyn. No, he's dead. He died. What in the name of our savior are you two idiots talking about? Yeah, well, when you die, that means you went to Jersey. My mother told me that. Yeah, Greg's mother told me. Yeah, that's what death is. Going to Jersey. Yeah, are you calling my mother a liar? If you're calling his mom a liar, we gotta pop you upside the fucking head. Upside the fucking grape. Ugh, went to Jersey. What a shame. Funny kid. Yeah, there was that one time he shit over the walls with his head because he ate that bullet. Indigestion. Indigestion. I'm bored. I'm going home. I got a lot to do this week. Tuesday, I got to count to H. Me too. I got to get back to my 97 cousins who were busy saying long Italian words that all just end up meaning spaghetti and meatballs. I'll join you right after I figure out a good slur for Swedes. The nerve of some people being Swedes. No respect. No respect. Pop them upside the fucking meatball. Upside the fucking meatball in the head. Amen. Amen. That was New Yorkers Who Don't Understand Death. And the Mean Boys podcast returns to talk for another 45 minutes about pissing down a goat's hot, (laughs) eager gullet. Now, uh, we are here with a game suggested by somebody in the Mean Boys subreddit. If you guys aren't on the Reddit, uh, jump on there. There's always a lot of weird shit, mostly just people posting weird photoshops of Tom. Yeah, which I I found the other day. I spent a couple of weeks off the Reddit, and I peeked back, and I was like, oh, this is a lot of photos of me. Coming across my face and 
pyramids of my... Yeah, it's pretty funny. Yeah, yeah I, mostly, I go on, I make sure no one's posting Jordan Peterson videos and being like, yeah, actually, that's some pretty good points. And then I just like, all right, yeah. As long yeah, as, we, yeah, we do a quick, like, alt-right sweep. And yeah, as long <laughs> we're like, oh, you guys yeah. are still good. As long as this hasn't turned into a community of, uh, of, of values I do not share that's growing beyond my control uh, as, a, as the guy it's centered around. Yeah, then, I don't want to just I, not... I don't really care. What I don't want to not look there. at the Reddit and be like, whoops, we're Hitler now. Oh, but, yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I didn't realize that was all going on. Uh, yeah, but no, you guys are actually very cool. Go have fun. And uh, use your Sporty666 uh, suggests a game called Kill Count. And what that is, it's a uh, kind of a variation on a game we do called Price Check. But instead of being about which thing is more expensive. It's about the price of human life. Pretty much, yeah. He was like, all right, pick two things and try and figure out which one killed more people. That kind of situation. Nice. Uh, so I did some research. I'm just going to, for any pedantic people in there who are going to research, I did my best. Some of these numbers might not be 100% accurate. But I did more research for this game than I generally do to try and get things as close as possible. Yeah, by the way, you guys can stop giving me shit for not realizing for the Blythe Price check I did that it was a photo of a machine gun. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I disagree. Give Tom shit about that. I do forever. not know why someone would buy a $120 photo of a machine gun. Yeah. So, yeah, it did not occur to me. Well, the explanation is that it was at Walmart. <laughs> of course you want a framed p- photo of a gun. Yeah. That's not even a particular, like, the composition of the shot isn't even, like, in- it's not even, like, a gun by a sunset. It's I could have gotten a just as good of a, a photo gun. on my yeah, iPhone. Yeah. It was not a good picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's start with this one. This is the first one. Which of these killed more people in 2017? Pancreatic cancer or suicide? <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. oh, that's a Tom Gosford. Oh, it's a Tom Gosford. Oh, shit. Ooh, okay. Well, pancreatic cancer. I, I, well, I do think most people, you know, that would die of pancreatic cancer probably die of some other terrible, like, poor country disease before that even becomes an issue. Cause yeah. That, that, one takes away, that one takes a while to really cook up. So I'm going to guess suicide because, I mean, even that's what the beautiful thing about suicide is even the most the poorest the beautiful people, thing. <laughs> even the poorest people in the world have access to suicide. You oh, know? Yeah, I also so Wi-Fi, I, clean drinking water, things like this. Not really. But yeah. suicide, I mean, it's got it's pretty cheap. That's true. These, these poor people can't afford cancer. <laughs> just well, just with. No, the, I mean, pancreatic <laughs> cancer. I mean, you got I don't know how you get it, but you probably got to eat something delicious. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> pancreatic <laughs> cancer in this economy. Well, I don't yeah. think so I mean, honestly, I saw an article that they selectively bred fruit to be so sweet they were giving animals cavities so they had to like feed them different shit because yeah, the so then they fed them piss to try and get them accustomed to bitterness yeah yeah make you a piss and blueberry smoothie <laughs> i know a lot of people who have Welcome like to roman polanski presents a sleepover <laughs> yeah man piss and blueberry smoothie is the best description of you and me just as a human entity oh uh, yeah just as our, our general vibe yeah or are you guys just a real piss and blueberry smoothie yeah a little fruity <laughs> little little unpleasant yeah i'm the piss you're the blueberries yeah tom he's the glass he holds it all together <laughs> Uh, I know that a lot of people who have like chronic pancreatitis or pancreatic cancer kill themselves to get out of the pain. So saying that, I gotta assume it's suicide. All right, pancreatic cancer, forty-three thousand ninety people. Suicide, forty-four thousand nine hundred sixty. Boom! <laughs> wow. Yeah, barely beat them. Highly but, contested. Wow, that's actually way more competitive than I thought it would be. Yeah, it's a, you know, I mean, uh, pancreatic cancer put up a good fight, but you know, well, pancreatic- suicide has a stronger offensive line. <laughs> <or> really, <laughs> Kowski's just- doing great work for suicide this season. Suicide just wanted it less, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah well, pancreatic, yeah, fucking. I think it's the, it's the most lethal or like second most lethal kind of cancer. You yeah, can it's get. a it's a real motherfucker. Yeah, I went through a, lot of, a lot of cancer of- charts. I had to take a break from the internet after. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, second one. Who killed more people? James Holmes, the guy who shot up the Aurora Theater during the Dark Knight Rises, or the Dar- or the Joker in the Dark Knight. Oh, oh shit. interesting. And, and his and henchmen this, don't count. The henchmen. This is direct murders by the Joker. Oh shit! Fuck. Uh, well, that hospital. How many people were in the hospital? I will say this for this one. I didn't count the the, the hospital was evacuated. It was evacuated. Nobody yeah. got killed in the hospital. Damn. So how many people does a hospital count for? Like, is that five does it equal five dudes? You know, just he didn't kill anybody. Property either. damage. Oh. Yeah, everyone. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it's the real life guy. Yeah, okay. I think so too. All right, you're going real life guy. James Holmes killed 12 people. The Joker in the Dark Knight killed 25 people. Wow, where, wow. I'm trying to remember where, where he, he killed, killed the guy with the pencil. He kills the guy with the pencil. He kills that. the fake. As much bat- as we talk about the Christopher Nolan Batman oh, universe, kills, I haven't seen the movies in a very fuck, long time. Fuck, he kills like eight people in the first like ten. Yeah, he seconds. kills two of the yeah. fake Batmans. He blows up the jail. This is exactly and kills what a bunch of guys. Woman thinks our podcast <laughs> is, is us in my room talking about Batman and murder. Yeah. <laughs> 
was like, you guys probably just get all sleepy and la- lounge about <laughs> talking about Batman's kill counts. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No, it's a it's nuance. We, we really put a spin on the jump. That's exactly what we do. All right. Uh, what killed more people? Hate crime murders against the LGBT community in 2017 or Jeffrey Dahmer? Ooh, man. Uh, it's got... Uh, and these are confirmed. It was a hate crime murder against somebody because they were right. LGBT. Okay. Just in that year. Or how many people did Jeffrey Dahmer kill? Fuck. I think he killed. Well, I think he killed like sixty, seventy, something like that, right? I don't know. I guess he was uh, the one who ate people, people right? right? Well, the, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. He ate them. He tried to pour acid in their brains to turn them into sex zombies, and then mm. found out that's not how anything works. Yeah, so he just kept having all these dead Filipino boys to deal with. Right. They found a crock pot full of penises in his house. Yeah. They, well, I definitely uh, think well, he's hungrier than the. Which hate how do you not call it a people. cock pot? Like, even if you're getting arrested and you're Jeffrey Dahmer, you're like, I like to have fun. Yeah, like, yeah. Well, you got a piece of masking tape and you've written it on in sharpie. Like just, you know. If I had a crock. Like, if they caught me, I can't play that off like it's anything but it is, so I might as well have some fun with it. Yeah, you're not going to be like, oh, no, it's just a weird stew. Like, yeah, it's, no, those are dicks. You found the, the most of the guy in the bathtub. It's well, yeah, I, d- I just like the guy, like, uh, you know, like, the, 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 no one thought to connect the financial records of the guy who keeps buying, like, the, the serrated knives that keep breaking every week and <laughs> acid and drills. And I just like, love the I idea of the, murdering just, all these gay teens. Because it's in Milwaukee, so just this cop just like, ah, hey, uh, uh, chief, uh, we found, uh, did, I think, too many dicks at this house. <laughs> I think something's going on here. Yeah, you know, the see. first, like, four or five dicks, I was like, ah, you know, everybody's got to have a hobby. Oh, but around a, dick 12. Heck of a whoopsie daisy here. Hey, what are you going to do? Yeah, I'm going to say uh, hate crimes. We're going hate crimes. I'm I'm going because it's confirmed in, in America, right? Yes, in the, in the, US. the U.S. I think, I think a lot of them are unconfirmed hate crimes. I'm going to go Dahmer. Hate crime murders against the LGBT community. 52. Jeffrey Dahmer victims, 17. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. His, his record has gotten built up, I think, in the uh, the American consciousness. Yeah. I thought it was, like, uh, way more than it was, too. I mean, 17 is a lot of people to eat. Certainly. Yeah, is. I love that yeah. we're here, like, not, not enough. I mean, I can't even finish a burrito from Chipotle, am I That's right? That's only a half a crock pot. We, yeah. <laughs> no, 17 dead. Well, I guess they weren't. Well, they were all dudes, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah those dudes was uh, to fill an entire crock no pot. No one's talking about the of... plates that <laughs> hit our community, right, Phil? Come on. <laughs> Are you with me, subreddit? MRA. All right. M-R-A. Where have more people died, Coachella or on a ride at Disneyland? Oh. Oh, fuck. Disneyland, I think. Throughout all of time? I got to figure Coachella. Yes, throughout the, the all of time and space at the Coachella Music Festival. Yeah. I, I, I was thinking more Disneyland. Well, Disneyland's been around longer, and I got to figure Coachella yeah. throws a lot of money at, like, EMTs on site because people, like, teenagers, like, o- ODing on fucking meth molly at their festival is not a yeah. good look for them. And I will be clear on this one. This is not everybody who's died at Disneyland. It's people who have died on the ride specifically. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm still, I, 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 I'm saying Disney. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it I, I got to say Coachella. Okay, Coachella. Two confirmed deaths. Disneyland rides nine. Oh, wow. Yeah. Coach, I was shocked it was that low for Coachella. Oh, I mean, if I'm, if I'm putting on a music festival, I'd be like, I would, I would just have like a shitload of like. Well, well yeah, yeah your thing is just come shit. do cocaine while it's 130 degrees. Yeah, like, it's insane that that many people I bet live. they do the yeah. same and thing. bottled water is $1,000. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And we are do, not going to be cool about it. They probably it. do the same thing Disneyland does, which is like if someone's like dying on the pavement, they just like take them off the property and then say they're dead. Mm. So it's not like on. I bet more people have technically died, but it's just. Well, they, yeah, one, one well my, yeah. They fuck with the numbers one of that way. my favorite jokes that ever popped in my head as I was reading something about how much this abortion costs in some news story, and it, was, it just seemed like a lot, and I was like, where'd you get that abortion? The airport? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> just, <laughs> I just, like, laughed about that. To my, <laughs> and it's, like, not something I can, like, there's no context for which I could oh, that's purpose so that joke. <laughs> <laughs> the the abortion. <laughs> like, oh, I guess I'll just do it here. All right, fuck. <laughs> I, I don't want to drive into town and get an abortion. I'll just... Uh, I'm gonna get gouged, but I, well, I mean, I was gonna get gouged anyway. But yeah, I, mean, I went to Wolfgang Puck's Kill a Baby Express. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I went to Chili's. Uh, too many babies inside of me. I, don't know. <laughs> I want this baby gone, baby yeah, gone, baby, baby gone. gone. I want this baby. Chili's. We also kill kids. <laughs> Give my life business, back. Business ain't great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, here, here at uh, CNBC, we were, uh, report today that Chili's has announced a new abortion wing of their uh, popular uh, quick serve restaurant franchise. Uh, it'll be open in uh, select states starting in March. Also, what? <laughs> <laughs> what is what's going on here? What is anything? Hey guys, who was older when they died, Bin Laden or Hitler? Hmm. Bin Laden, mm. right? Yeah. Well, he was okay. So he's a young resistance fighter. 
in like the early 90s, late 80s. He died in 2014 or something like that. 30, Hitler was like 50-ish. He was early 50s, I think. I'm going to say Bin Laden's got him by a couple years. Okay. It's kind of what I was thinking, too. But, hmm. I don't know. You, you know what's weird? Bin Laden definitely looks older. But yeah. Hitler had, like, like he had a hard first half, and then he had, like, you know. It was an easy streak. He had all the, part. yeah, I mean, he had yeah. all the riches of Germany at his hands. He probably was able to, you know, like, afford a haircut and shit. Well, yeah, and also, you would age pretty rough, too, if you lived in a fucking cave. Like, yeah, like, yeah. I wonder who had a, a better life, because Hitler, you know, like, well, because like, Hitler, like, he was, like, the, he had the nicest shit possible for yeah. a while, you know. But, like, Bin Laden was pretty much on the run for most of the time. Yeah. You know, and I'm sure they... Smuggled a, a fucking Tamagotchis or whatever. Well, yeah, they got him all that weird like anime porn and shit. Like, yeah, yeah. Into, yeah. I think Hitler was older. Hitler was older. Hitler was fifty six years old. Bin Laden fifty four. Oh damn! Boom! Okay. Hitler's got him by two years. I didn't Hitler was so old. It's all about that German aging. Yeah. Age. What we're saying is maybe he had a point. <laughs> <laughs> all right, stay pretty fresh. Last one. I mean, all you got to do is have <laughs> drink a, a meth smoothie every day. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. How? Yeah, he looked younger. Yeah. Well, dude. Yeah. Everyone. Every politician that people talk about being super charismatic, like yeah, JFK was also on a shitload of meth, so he didn't look like he was just fucking. Yeah, he was dope horrible shit. pain. Yeah. 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 Well, because it's like uh, we had just like cr- the, the, chronic the, Irishitis, where everything was fucking falling apart. Yeah, or whatever. yeah, like because we're the Irish people just fucking are built to die. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we're like the pugs of human beings. I right, mean, you're telling me we fucking lived on an island and no f- genetic fuckery. I'm so, yeah, there's there's I'm not. Yeah. no one fucked anybody's cousin, sister, or anything. Every Kennedy is just like a cool looking car that's impossible to maintain. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly. Just, like, beautiful on the outside, but fuck, there's like one guy who can fix it in any fucking like state. Yeah, yeah, and it, yeah, it's. The, the fiat of human beings, <laughs> in Canada. like his people the, fiat. inauguration speech, he's like sweating, you know, yeah. and it's like zero degrees. Yeah, you and it's like, oh, you're already having a hard time, and this is day zero of this job. Yeah, yeah. All right, last one, uh, and I want to give a shout out because I feel like our fans might enjoy this. I got some help on this one from a website called BodyCounters.com, where they go through every movie made. They found pe- find people, and they, and, and they tell you whether or not it has an iced tea supergroup <laughs> song in it. Damn, good pull. They find they like count everyone who it's gets like killed Mr. on screen. Skin, but it's much. There's not as much. It's only really one film that was a straight to DVD gangster movie. <laughs> But they also, like, estimate based on, like, property damage and stuff how many people must have died. Uh So this is the killed by machines round. Which was more? Civilians killed in drone strikes ordered by Obama or civilians killed in the battle between the Autobots and the Decepticons in the first Transformers? Ooh, (laughs) shit. (laughs) That's pretty fun. It's a murder robot round. Mm, I haven't seen Transformers. Yeah, I don't think I have. Wait, wait. It's the first Transformers? The, the, yeah, yeah, the uh, the Shia LaBeouf first Michael Bay So I saw it. I don't remember. I remember I didn't like it. Um, yeah, nothing memorable in that movie to stick in your brain. You know, it's not like it's... It's not like... Uh, yeah, it's... I, mean, like, I love that movie. <laughs> yeah, well, it's like if you had seen... Like, like what I like about Tom is like if you had seen... You're like, yeah, I, 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 I saw a walk to remember, and I don't really recall a lot of the details. It was kind of just a boring shit. But it's like a movie where it's just bright colors, fights, and explosions with robots. You wouldn't be like, oh, yeah, when that yeah. Uh, Volkswagen bug, you know, uh, blew up the Pentagon or whatever. Like, you know, there's something that you could remember. But Tom well, was just like, could like, have met a Transformer in real life, and he would vaguely... Yeah. I'm not impressed. His name was uh, the, 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 the Optimal Puma. I think I opened for him in yeah. fucking Tucson. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm unimpressed by yeah, just fucking CGI. Yeah, first clothes turned into a Vespa. I, mean, I didn't <laughs> dig it. Yeah, that, 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 I mean, any any CGI-based film, and that's the majority of the film, bores me. But I like this question. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go Drone Strikes. All right, I'm going to go Drone Strikes, too. It's All too right. funny. Drone Strikes, 1100. The Transformers, 2019. No oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still 1100. 1100. And to be fair, that number is widely contested, but I went with one. What? Yeah. So well, think about Obama's foreign policy not universally agreed well, on even, by like, the so, I don't, so the White House was like, yeah, we killed like 65 guys. And then like... All these like pretty like even PBS was bringing up like all these like human rights watchdog groups were like really though because yeah, yeah. there's like a few like at least 800 dead people. Well, yeah, look, we only count them as uh, we, we only count if they can speak English. Yeah, all right, that's God like, damn it, <laughs> you just farted so bad. Oh, did I? Yeah. All right. Well, the Meat Boys podcast will be right back right after we uh, air out the room and uh, reconvene. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the Mean Boys Podcast returns, and it's time to read your questions, uh, hear out your comments, and play your voicemails in the Mean Boys Mailbag. It's the Mean Boys Mailbag. Fuck everything. God is dead. Send us an email or give us a call. Have you ever heard the one about keeping the dog? It's the motherfucking Mean Boys Mailbag. 
<laughs> There's a jingle. Uh, Angel Escalante writes on Twitter, if someone was ever crazy enough to ask you guys to do a Make-A-Wish, would you guys do it? I mean, a million like, percent. I, like yeah. someone, I get like, to make the wish, or I am the wish? Uh, like, like the wish would be like, we, I want to meet the mean boys. Which would, <laughs> it's, way, it's me, a dying child. If you're, if you're, <laughs> I, I would, I would fly out to see a dying adult. I mean, I would just well, be yeah, sad. Like, not only are you dying, but your big pie in the sky dream is meet. I don't know if you got like Keith a bad Connor and Tom. Yeah, wow. if you have a bad flu and you want to hang out, I'll come bring you soup. Like, I have a pretty low barrier for entry. Yeah, I mean, here's the deal: if you break your arm, I'll, I'll Skype you. All right, is this? Yeah. <laughs> if you break your arm and you come near me, I'll sign your cast. Like, yeah, yeah, that's right. I would absolutely do a make. I would absolutely, yeah, yeah. No, maybe one where we, uh, you know, we pretend. Imagine that- being the parent who had to be like, "Yeah, my kid, fucking, he's dying, and also he's like super weird, and I don't know what you guys do, but just yeah, we just figured he's gonna die soon, so we just let him go on whatever websites he wants. Yeah, you know? come come do a, a, a what is it? What is it? Carlos the blood fuck or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Carlos the blood fucker. <laughs> Orally, fuckers, it's me, Carlos, the blood feaster. The blood fucker. No, he rapes rival gangs. <laughs> with He's like, this is my neighborhood. He, I control Crenshaw. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah so, Where are you from, car? No, here's the ultimate Mean Boys make a wish experience. Is, uh, we dress you up like Bane and get the entire city to pretend that you're Bane. And it's then like I kid, get the costume after. And then a more and then sympathetic the sick child comes and beats the shit out of you. Yeah, and Tom's going to be like, wait, so is cancer contagious? Because uh, I I don't really want to wash this. I got a date tonight, and I was hoping to go looking like Bane on the off chance that she's like one of them weird comic book broads. You're trying to rush the kid into dying so you can get your jacket back? You're like, well, I mean, at a certain point, do you want to go for comfort, or do you just want to go out while you still feel good? And I mean, do you want your last days to be breathing through a tube, or do you want me to have the jacket tomorrow? I mean, (laughs) you got to prioritize here. What if you put the mask on, and it's like you're breathing through a bunch of tubes, but not really... (laughs) Uh, can we start planning now for a Mean Boys Mother's Day Spectacular? All three moms, all three of the boys, you can call it Boiler Womb or Womb Mates or a Womb with a View. Uh, thanks for those bad name yeah, suggestions. Yeah, everyone. Uh, each, I, I, each one less good, punny and good than the last. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, A for effort, D minus for results. Yeah. Uh, we, we've discussed doing an all three moms uh, crossover event. Uh-huh. But I, I, I think the thing has been that Tom is concerned about his, how his mother would fare. Yeah, I don't think my mom would do very well on the show. I think my dad would. Yeah, yeah. I think, uh, I don't know. Hey, there mom... is something funny about us doing a Mother's Day show and you inexplicably bringing your father. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know your if mom. my mom would be into it. Uh, yeah. I mean, I think we t- talked about it. She, goes show, back, though, she right? listens every week. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I love my mom. She's the best. But I don't know. I just, she's just not th- like a... Uh, a key's mom yeah. is definitely probably more of a ham. <laughs> like I think she'll kind of like click. My into mom it. barely understands what this is. We really did kind of uh, weaponize the threat of speaking to her on air before <laughs> I ran it by her. Thankfully, she's cool about it. No, but... yeah, I thought you thought you I thought you'd talk to her about it. Oh, we had already made the goal before I ran it by her. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> yeah, I was gonna make her do it either way, but she's in. Well, it. she owes you a f- a more than a couple. You yeah, know exactly. I mean? I'll, yeah, yeah, I'll cash in some my, chips. My here. mom got someone at her work to teach her how to operate a podcast. To listen to five minutes of the show. With the man who has a master's in Christian studies that she works with. How'd that work out? Well, they listen to like three to five minutes. That's not even the intro. (laughs) I know. (laughs) They got through a Jack in the Box ad. (laughs) Oh, we don't like these bowls. That's that's in poor taste. By by the time we plugged the iTunes review goal, they had already decided it was too distasteful. Yeah. Uh, why has Connor not responded to my Yu-Gi-Oh challenge? Duel me. Uh, I didn't see it. I will absolutely duel you. I found that um, whatever emulator I use to play uh, 2011 rules with my boys, I'll fucking yeah, whatever. It, it's, it's got we got to play with a band list that's cards I know because I'm not learning how Link monsters work. But I will duel you, and that goes to anybody out there in the Mean Boys universe. If you want to duel me on some like. Uh, first Obama term, like fucking <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh shit. I will absolutely do it. Oh, uh, God, I would I love really that. Like that. Uh, Adam Bauer on Facebook asked, "What's your guys' favorite music genres that you listen to on the regular? What do you listen to right now, Tom? Because you were uh, listening to the Downward Spiral by Nine Inch Nails every day for six <laughs> months, which was concerning. Because you also seemed like you were doing better as a person while listening to the most frightening thing possible. I'm like, oh, Tom's gonna hurt someone. Yeah, me. No, uh, I uh, uh, I still listen to that album once or twice a week. It's a great album. But no, I would listen to a lot of like. Uh, it's been a mixture between like." Rap and like cake and modest mouse right now. Okay. Hmm. All right. Uh, <laughs> Keith, what about you? 
Uh, the, the same old the, the, the shitty Gaylord pop punk that you guys hate. <laughs> okay, cool. But, uh, I got really into, apparently, this is lame, Joan Jett covered the Mary Tyler Moore theme song. Oh, yeah. And it's yeah. really good, and it's annoying how much I like it. Yeah, I saw that on Twitter or something. Yeah. Uh, I've been listening to a lot of Big L, Lifestyles of the Poor and Dangerous. Oh, Big L's good. The meat, he's the most evil man that was ever great at rapping. <laughs> Just like, yeah, I'll kill your mom. I'm legitimately a bad guy. Yeah, yeah. this yeah. is not an act. I'm a guy who hurts you. They oh. made me put a hook on one of my songs so more people would like me, but then the rest of them are just about murdering people. <laughs> Keith also just got me into Eels. Which oh, I, yeah. I, 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 fucking, on, I enjoyed that dude. He's in a lot of Shrek music. Uh, does Connor fuck with the SCP Foundation? And if so, which is his favorite? I don't even know what that is. You down with is. SCP? Uh, do you know what that is? No. Southern corporate people. Do we dare Google it? Yeah. All right, I'll Google it. Uh, I, I, sweet is, coalition of piss goats. <laughs> is a fictional organization documented by the web-based collective. It's these is. I don't even. This sounds what? fucking boring as yeah. hell. I don't even well, know. Yeah, fuck what all is of it? this. Yeah, it's it's too many words. Is what it is. Yeah. It's a fictional organization. Uh, what's it, is it a Yu-Gi-Oh thing? Uh, no. And if it was a Yu-Gi-Oh thing, I'd know what it was. I don't know if it was like a late era Yu-Gi-Oh. It's an issue. It's Even then, I go, I go see what's going on just so I can be mad about it. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, that's 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 the mailbag. We'll we'll check out some voicemails. No. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, so if you want to leave us a voicemail, do it at three zero four eight zero five six three two six. Let's hear what they've got for us this week. It's Harrison JR here calling from Brisbane, Australia. I just wanted to let you guys know that I have just finished printing out the very first prototype of the semi-official mean Uh It's going to be shipped out to you guys tomorrow. I hope you really enjoy it. I've had a lot of fun putting it together. Fuck everything. God is dead. Cheers, guys. That, that that was the man. Uh, that was the voice I wanted yeah. to talk. Hello, yeah. it's me, <laughs> fucking Monopoly Dundee. <laughs> Hello, it's me, a character in a Hanna Barbera cartoon that drives a big wacky car and tries to steal women. Oh, oh, welcome man. back to lifestyles of the poor and insignificant. Yeah, uh, I'm <laughs> boomerangs. A, dude, it's, uh, yeah, they, they, I'm a guy in a Monty Python sketch you forgot about. And yeah, I'm here to tell you that I made a board game based on your house. I sent it to you. Uh, via, we, we, I dropped it off with my local postie. <laughs> Which I think is what they call mail carriers in England. That sounds right. Australia. Nobody, can, yeah, England, yeah. Australia. Uh, no, I'm fucking excited about that because that's uh, uh, frighteningly detailed and accurate. And it's, what's yeah, hilarious too is yeah. we keep getting emails from customs. Like, oh yeah, well he said he like. I mean, somebody custom. at customs like, hey, what's all this about blood feasting then? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it says your parcel is shipped, and I'm like, stop calling them parcels, <laughs> yeah, you fucking nerds. It's not a parcel. It's a sack. Parcels <laughs> is a brown paper twine wrapping of cookies that your aunt sends you in the 1920s. Yeah, you get a That's... parcel if you're at Hogwarts. Like, you get a fucking a, a duffel bag full of the loose you, memorabilia. It, it's here. America. We call it a package because we like as many things in our common vernacular as possible to be synonyms for penises. <laughs> USA. Yeah. So, yeah, no, I mean, I'm talking about that. We'll, we'll play that on a bonus episode, and we'll print it. And I want to see if we can. I want to see if we can mass produce those and ship them as a Patreon thing because it's yeah. fucking rad. I yeah. love it. Oh, me too. So thank you, Harrison J. Out in Brisbane. Out in Brisbane. Break, uh, thank you. Yep, yep. I appreciate the dip, 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 dip. That, that, your uh, country sounds weird. And trying to reach you concerning your car's extended warranty. <laughs> you should receive something in your mail about <laughs> your car's extended warranty. Since we've not gotten a response. We are giving you a final courtesy call before we close out your file. Press 2. Oh, is he legitimately just going to do the whole thing? Put on our do not call list. Press 1 to speak with someone about possibly extending or reinstating. <laughs> Such commitment to a bit. I love this. Press 1. Holler somebody with a warranty speciality. <laughs> speciality. That was great. That was a good bit. <laughs> God damn I can't believe no one's done that before. Yeah, I didn't see that coming. Well, I saw the predictive text, and it lo- and I said, hey, I saw hey, y'all, and I'm like, well, that's not, the rest of it was like word for word what they said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? Points. Hey, boys, I'd like to give a long-distance shout-out to Victor Tuesday, <laughs> the man who ran me over with his car in the late 90s. He was nice enough to drive me home and... Give my mom an obvious fake name. Keep on trucking, Victor. Wow, that's so... what the fucking <laughs> shit, dude. Whoa! So you got you got ran over. What? And I was like, all right. The least I can do is give you a ride home. <laughs> <laughs> Victor Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. 
What an insane. <laughs> that sounds like. like so like he's a, like, I need a quick name. What day is it? And who's the guy that molested me as a boy? Victor, Victor Tuesday, Tuesday sounds like a TGI Friday's chain for vampires. That sounds like a really. Welcome bad, to Victor Tuesday's. <laughs> they well, whatever season they also of, have an abortion thing. <laughs> whatever season of Desperate Housewives was the worst, the bad guy that moved in was named Victor Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, that, that's like if they have like a big whiteboard of like first draft names for like Bond villains. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, I don't know, Victor Tuesday. Victor, what, but what, Victor Von Tuesday? Is that better? Kind uh, of. It's better and worse. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, one of those. We're circling. We're, we like Victor. The day of the week we could change. Yeah, Victor. What, what about what about Smirnoff Thursday? <laughs> <laughs> That's already uh, the just, girl's name. Yeah, it just sounds like a bar uh, <laughs> promotion. Yeah, well, dude, fucking. Th- if you're out there, Victor, salute for getting away with that one. Yeah. You really, <laughs> you figured this shit out. Hey, mean boys, it's Chaya or Jew Jaime, apparently in South Florida. Can't fucking wait for your Orlando show. Just want to say that I fucking love you guys, what you guys do, who you are, everything. Things want to enjoy to my heart and a lot of other people keep doing it. Anywho, what was your first jerk off session like? Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't hear anything. What was your first? Uh, 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 he said he, some weird Jew shit, talked about Florida, and then said, what was your first jerk off session? Yeah, he said, you know, love the show, blah, blah, blah. Can't wait to see you guys. Uh, what was the first time you jacked off? I think I've covered it pretty extensively, but I was laying face down on the love seat in my living room while I was watching Comedy Central late at night. Uh-huh. And... Um, uh, Girls Gone Wild commercial came on. I popped a boner. Serendipitously found its way between the couch cushions. Instinct took over. I fucked my couch and came immediately. <laughs> and then just paced around my kitchen going, what What have I done? Did <laughs> I, did do I, I still to, get to go to heaven? Yeah, what, I was, what no, is I was this? Like, did, what, what did I, I didn't know what I did. And I was just like, wow. I, I thought I'd discovered... <laughs> my baby's cool, going to be a futon. I thought I... <laughs> <laughs> no, I, thought, I just thought I invented the coolest thing ever. I was like, whoa. I did, does everybody else know about this? Do I tell this? my friends? Do, yeah, I, keep, do I keep it to myself? Yeah. They'll be after my powers. I remember legitimately thinking, like, why does anyone do anything else? Like, think, like how does the world <laughs> economy function if they this is right there. Yeah, I now have no team. more hobbies. You could yeah. just fuck a couch and feel the best you could possibly feel, you know? Yeah, mine was, uh, yeah, I, I, I had taken a bunch of, like, dry runs at jerking it, but I wasn't able to come yet. But then the, the one time I finally got it to happen, I was uh, looking at this, like, catalog of, like, just surfwear. So it was just like a picture of like a like a girl in a bikini, like for a Hurley thing, not even like a sexy one. Yeah, just and like, I finally made it work, and I was just like, like oh, I did it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My buddy was like in the living room. Did you like, pro- I made it happen, dude. Did you produce jism or no? I produced a small amount of jism. Yeah. Yeah. The first time I actually produced jism, I was fucking my grandma's pillow, uh-huh. and then I <laughs> came all over the pillow, and I had to like try to clean it up. Oh <laughs> uh, shit! Calling <laughs> it jism is well, so yeah. bad. And no kid is good at cleaning anything, so I'm just like, oh fuck, I should have listened to all that shit my mom said about vinegar. <laughs> like I don't know. What to <laughs> Here. Yeah, I think the first time I produced cum was in the shower. No, that's a good I place to do it. I was in the shower. Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. That's genius. I mean, I'd been jerking off for a while, but uh, that was yeah. the first time you got the load out. Yeah, and I remember, I remember that at first I was like, "Oh, this shit is real." Like <laughs> for some reason, I thought I was like, "Ah, sex could be just one of those weird." Like a myth, yeah. Yeah. yeah it's like yeah. Like Santa Claus. <laughs> like, ah, uh, you lied about Santa, you lied about the tooth fairy, you lied about boning. <laughs> yeah, you lied about coming. It was yeah. a, it was all a myth. Yeah. Uh yeah, yeah. That's 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 jism. Sex you. really is middle school Santa. Yeah. Where you're like, you don't know if it's real or not. Yeah, well, I, did, I didn't know how to come without just like fucking like couch like objects for a while. So I like that got, explains why you like fat girls. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. No, and I, I, got, I bought this foot massager from a garage sale, and I put it underneath a pillow so I could like make a vibrating fuck doll. That's upsettingly know? like brilliant. Yeah, like this weird like fucking Joe Dirt sex toy I fucking invented. You could in use my that bedroom. energy talking to a girl, but you're like, no, I will build. Well, at twelve, I don't think I build had a, a carnival of, robot. I didn't have a lot of real life it, the penetration options available to me. That's a fair point. It's just funny that your brain went to engineering. Yeah, so it's like, all right, here's the pitch, guys. I live 10 miles away from everyone else in the school district because I got an inter-district transfer when I was a kid because my parents wanted me to go to a better elementary school. They've already so hung the phone up at that I point. I will need a ride to come fuck you poorly. Yeah, all yeah. right? Now, here's the second thing. Nobody in our community likes me or knows what my whole deal is. <laughs> I also dress strange, have a lot of hair gel and horrifying acne. So you're going to be so sticky by the time that this is by the time I'm done disappointing when you. When it starts you're going to be sticky. Yeah. Uh, and uh, and I'm also going to need a ride home. So if we can figure <laughs> something out here ladies, uh, I think I, my curfew is 8. I would honor yeah, I'd be honored to be the first guy. Also my parents are very strict and they don't they're, they're pretty wary of me, you know, having unprotected 12-year-old sex. So <laughs> it's going to be a real heist if we can pull it off. <laughs> All right. Uh, one more voicemail. All right. Your 
a big fan of the podcast. Uh, my question is, how come Connor, that pleb, hasn't responded? That's my tweet on dueling. <laughs> anyway, you guys are awesome. Thanks. You'll get well, your fight, you cocksucker. Hey, much, much like how Eminem said, I didn't hear about this shit for, until years later because I was, I was too big to have it on my radar. I'm, I'm not exactly, as the Colony High School 2011 regional dual champion, I really have no need to just take on all comers. You know, I'm not, this is, I, I, I've already solidified my legacy. But you've talked <laughs> enough shit, and uh, I think it's time to get a. Uh, I'm get rooting a, for this guy. I think, yeah. it's, I think it's time you fucking learned your place. So yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I will communicate with you. We'll, we'll discuss a, we'll discuss a yeah. band list to play off of. And, and Louis uh, Gomez, if you're listening, that's how you accept a challenge <laughs> like a man. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> I have I've even, I'm rusty. I certainly am. I haven't, I haven't been playing except for yesterday. In years, I haven't played. So yeah. bring it on, bitch. Man, dude, I, this, we're going to make this a gonna thing. Gonna I want you to fuck this dude Go up. and choke fuck you with mystic sass or whatever the cards are. He's, like, he's I guess gonna, here's your make-a-wish. Come duel Connor and then lose and die. Yeah, when it comes down to it, we're playing with the old school, like the shit I know. I am very, very... Very good at Yu-Gi-Oh. All right, like <laughs> I'm really good at it. Yeah. Okay. Like I'm, I, I'm full confidence. We got to put some kind of. Uh, we're doing something with this. Yeah, I think you can record dual. So I'll at least put it up on YouTube if anybody on Earth gives a shit. But uh, yeah, no, I mean, if I brick a hand, maybe I'll lose. But if I play a match and I get side deck, I'm. I'll take you the fuck down. Oh so, shit! Shots yeah. fired. Have fun, bitch. All right. <laughs> it's time to duel. It's time to did it, did it, did it, suck my did it, did it, did it, dick. <laughs> all right. Uh, that's the show this week. What do we have to plug, gentlemen? What do we have to plug? October 5th and 6th, me and Tommy Goss are coming oh, to Miami, yeah. Oklahoma. We are going to be at the Looney Saloon. Four shows. Uh, follow us on the uh, the Facebook and the Twitter. We'll be putting out the uh, ticket links for that uh, very, very soon. October fourteenth, reuniting with Moon. <laughs> Indeed, October fourteenth and fifteenth, I will be headlining at Laughs in Tucson, Arizona. Uh, please come out to those shows. I'm real excited to meet you guys. October twenty first and twenty second, I will be at the Madhouse in San Diego. And if you are in the Los Angeles area on October, or so that was October twelfth and thirteenth uh, that I'm at Laughs, and the twenty sixth and twenty seventh. Then I'm in San Diego. And if you're in L.A., uh, October 18th, I will be at Big Money at the Virgil. So come on out to that. That's a uh, fun little fucking show. Yeah, I have, uh, yeah, 5th and 6th, come to that, and then my other shows. I Tom, you've done this for 60 episodes at least. Uh, Not I, once have you done it correctly. I write the cities, so I will have to post about those <laughs> on social media. Tom, you fucking, <laughs> you, you have a built-in platform to communicate to several thousand people where you're going to be. I'm at Phantom Ales, but I don't know where it is. <laughs> you fucking goon. All right, well, everyone, uh, do, do, Tom doesn't give plugs, he gives clues, all right? <laughs> <laughs> you got to try to solve where Tom he's is the gonna... I'm not going to plug something and wrong. As soon as, you, as soon as you find out, make I've sure you that. tell him, because he doesn't totally know himself. Yeah, Tom, Tom is like the Carmen San Diego of like finding a, a weird dude having a pretty good set at a pretty bad show. Like that's... <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, where that's... in the world is Tom doing fine, I guess? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's the show. Thanks, everybody. Fuck everything. God is dead. <laughs>